Welcome to Cha Cha's Queendom. Today I want to show you two of our family's favorite spread for pastry. One is savory, it's the garlic bread. Who doesn't love some good garlic bread, right? And the other one is the sweet spread. It's our Taiwanese favorite. It's the milky, creamy spread with rum raisin. And the good news is they are both super easy to make. And these two, when you have them, you can freeze them in the freezer and then when you need a good breakfast or a side dish, you're five minutes away from a good savory bread or a sweet little yummy treat. Now let's get started. Let's start with the garlic bread. It's so easy and straightforward. It's just mixing up all the seven ingredients and you're good to go. So the first thing is butter. You want to make sure the butter is super soft at room temperature because that will make the stirring and the mixing a lot easier. And then some sea salt. And then our key ingredients, the garlic. And to add another layer of a uh, garlic flavor, but it's different than raw garlic, is the garlic powder. Dry parsley, a little bit of sugar, and then Parmesan. The Parmesan is acting like a Italian MSG to me. It just got this umami taste. It's so good. It will make this garlic bread pop. Now we just mix them together. Now you have a beautiful and delicious garlic butter for your garlic bread. The only downside about this bread is that it's made with butter based, right? So when you put it in the fridge, it will harden, right? So when you need to use it, you have to wait for it to, you know, get to room temperature and soft so you can spread it on top of your baguette or your pastry. So my solution is I basically get the baguette that we like and I pre-spread it before I put it into the freezer so that, you know, every time when I want a good garlic bread, I just pop this frozen pre-spread garlic bread into the oven or air fryer. And then five minutes later, I got delicious garlic bread. I will be very generous with the butter because it's so good. And then to prevent it from sticking together, I cut out the parchment paper so that I can, you know, put them face to face, but they won't stick together. So. I can easily take out one when I only need one of them. Of course, you're gonna wanna eat it fresh. So 375 degree for three minutes or so, three to five minutes. Depends on how you like your garlic bread toasted. Or you can put it in the Ziploc bag and then put it in the freezer. And then whenever you wanna eat it, it's about 375 degrees for five to seven minutes. Mmm. 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 <laughs> now let's move on to the sweet one. It's the milky creamy spread with rum raisin. I learned this recipe from my friends Lorena and we love this recipe since then. So I want to thank her for this recipe and I want to share this with you because it's so delicious. And it's as straightforward as it is to kind of just mix all the ingredients together but it's kind of a little bit more complicated than the garlic bread because we have to make the rum raisin and that's the only thing, okay? So let's make the rum raisin first. We're gonna put in the raisin and then the rum. Choose good rum. Now we turn on the heat, let it boil for a couple of minutes so that the alcohol evaporates a little bit. And then turn the heat off and let it cool down a little bit. Again, the room temperature, soft butter for easy mixing. And then we're gonna put in some milk powder, whole milk powder. Give it a good mix first. And then we add in the condensed milk. Again, give it a good stir. Now it's come together to look more like a spread. And then we're gonna put in the rum raisin. And give it a good mix. And then you're almost there. And 
as the garlic bread because the base is butter. So if you put this bread into the fridge, it will harden. So every time you have to wait for it to, you know, go get to room temperature so that you can spread it easily. So I do the same thing. I kind of spread it on the toast ahead of time and then freeze the toast. And do you know what it is also very good for? The croissant. If you put it inside your croissant, oh, so good. And with this kind of spread, I like to use thicker cut toast, but you can do it on whatever bread that you like. And then I just put a parchment paper between them and like this, when I freeze them, whenever I need one of them, I can just take one out and then it won't stick together. And I wanna mention that the original recipe my friend has, she also put in some shredded coconut, which is a really good idea as well, but because some of our family members don't like shredded coconut, so we don't add it in, we add it on top of the toast right before we wanna toast it. But you can do what you want, okay? So, of course, you eat it fresh like this, it's super good, 350 degrees for three minutes or so. And if you put it in the freezer and take it out, you don't need to defrost or, you know, you just, put it into the air fryer or the oven, 350 for like five minutes or so for both the croissant or the toast. And then you have yourself some delicious breakfast or sweet treats when you need it. And before I eat them, I like to sprinkle some paprika on my garlic bread to get it color and just a little bit more flavor and I put on some shredded coconut into my poisson. Gotta start with the savory one. Mm. 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 <laughs> Buttery, savory, umami, garlicky, very garlicky. Mmm, it's so good. Oh my god. Now, let's try the sweet one. Mmm. Buttery, of course. And because the milk powder, it's just so much creamy and... Oh, so good. The rum raisin, seriously, amazing. Mmm. You think croissant is so buttery, so good until you add this into it. You're like, oh my god! I don't know, just another level of buttery. Super delicious. I always keep some of them in the freezer so that whenever my kids want to bring friends over, I always have some treats or a snack for the kids and they love it or breakfast or you know sometimes after dinner you want a little sweet stuff or you want some side dish with garlic bread you always have it it's convenient it's delicious i hope you give them a try and i hope you like them if you do like the recipe or the videos please remember to like share and subscribe thank you very much and i'll see you next time